Here on the Fleur de Gen red carpet of the Twin Cities Film Fest 2017 on day eight, join with another one of the amazing writers and producers in our comedy shorts block, Miss Emily Bell. And uh, Emily, at first when I saw the title of your short film, I was like, that sounds a little salacious, but it turns out it absolutely is nice because it's wet dreams, colon, one woman's chance at touching gold. Not touching anything creepy out there at all. So Emily, tell everybody about the film. Well, it, I got the idea when I was trying to find a good picture for my Facebook profile, and I just decided to have my friend take pictures of me jumping into a pool, and uh, I started getting direction, like, oh, you should do this pose, you should, you should do that pose, and I was like, dang, I am good at this. <laughs> Man, if there was a competition, I would nail it right now. And then I realized, wow, that would be a fun movie to follow a person who really takes the art of leisure diving seriously. And so that's what the film is about. It's a mockumentary, so it's like a documentary style, but it's all um, comedy. But we play it very straight. We're seriously pursuing leisure diving, and we've got the goal of competing in the Olympics. And there's you and some of your friends that also produce an afternoon as well. Yep, my friend Cassie Thornton co-stars in it with me, and she co-produced it with me, co-wrote it. Uh, Darren is the director, writer, editor as well. All three of us, we've really collaborated. There's a lot of throwing in ideas and uh, improvising, so it was very much a collaborative experience. And one of the things that I really enjoyed about it is it wasn't one of those things where you see the trailer and you're like, I don't get what the movie's about. The trailer is hilarious and so is the film. Well, yeah, we really stuck to that one idea. <laughs> Just jumping into a pool as many different ways as you can. <laughs> and then we fleshed it out. We tried to, you know, discover more about the characters. What do they do? What are they like? You know, what are they doing when they're not jumping into pools? And so we had a lot of time, fun just exploring that world. That's one idea. And you said you're living out in LA now, but this is a homecoming for you. It is, yes. Uh, this is the first of, of, pro of all the projects I've done. I mean, I haven't done a ton, but this is the first one that is screened in my home state. So I have a lot of my friends and family here, including my high school drama teachers here. I'm very excited. It's a, it's a big, um, it's an exciting experience. So now that you have this project out of the way, what are you working on now? Well, I have a short film in post-production right now. It's called Deep Dish Apocalypse. It's a uh, zombie rom-com. And uh, much like a couple of the other projects I've done, it was uh, funded by my friends and family on Indiegogo. So um, it's, it's great. I just keep feeling support from my Minnesota clan here and keep it coming. What's the best way for us to continue to support you? Uh, well, I mean, I, my website, emilybellactress.com, has all my work on there, and um, uh, work that I do with my producing partner, Ron Morehouse, is on Bell House Productions, and uh, just keep checking it out if you run across it, yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your homecoming us here at the 2017 Twin Cities Film Fest. We're really looking forward to seeing you in there during our comedy block. I'm so excited. I'll see you there. All right, we have a few more directors that are going to be showcased this afternoon, and so all you have to do is join us back here is the 2017 Twin Cities Film Fest live from the Showplace Icon Theaters at the Shops at West End.